Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at how we can determine whether a curve is increasing, decreasing, or whether it is called stationary. And so I've just drawn a basic cubic curve to represent these ideas. So you can see that for this part of the curve, the curve is increasing. Well, it's getting larger. And then there's going to be this point where it stops increasing and then starts decreasing. And then it's going to reach another point and then it's going to start increasing again. Okay, so there are these parts in the curve, and depending on which curve you're looking at, at which point the curve is increasing or decreasing. And we need a way of being able to identify what a curve is doing at a particular point. And so, if we can use differentiation, because dy by dx tells me the gradient of the curve. So at the points that it is increasing, dy by dx will be larger than zero. It will be positive. And that will tell me because it's got a positive gradient, the curve is increasing. When it is decreasing, dy by dx will be less than zero. It will be negative. And, and on this curve, we've got it increasing again. So dy by dx is larger than zero. So this means that when I substitute a point in, I get a negative value, or a positive value. If it is positive, I know that the curve is increasing at that point. If it is negative, I know the curve is decreasing at that point. And then there are these two points, these turning points, if you will, that are referred to as stationary points. Effectively, you can kind of imagine these as the points that, where you could park your car with the brake off without the car rolling down the hill. If the car is perfectly parked at the top of that hill, then it won't roll either way. And the same with that point there. So these are referred to as stationary points. And you might be able to guess that because we're going from a positive to a negative value of dy by dx, or a negative to a positive, this is where dy by dx is equal to zero. Okay, so this is the situation that we have. We are now able to identify when a graph is increasing or when it is decreasing and we're able to identify where the turning points are, where the stationary points are. Okay, and that is going to be a great help in making sketches and understanding the curve that much more accurate. 